you know, MLS is in a good spot. You know, just finished our 20th year. We had our best year ever last year. Uh, added two new teams that averaged over 30,000 fans a game in New York and Orlando. Uh, opened up a new stadium in San Jose. New television contracts with Fox and ESPN and Univision. Overall, MLS is uh, still a league on the rise. Uh, our best days are still ahead. Uh, but it's, uh, it's good to be in the soccer business. And you're looking to expand the next couple years. Talk about expansion and your thoughts moving forward. Well, two new teams coming in next year in uh, Atlanta and more than likely in Minneapolis and then in Atlanta more than likely Miami. So four new, new teams coming in between now and 2018. And Atlanta has just hit the ground by storm. It could be a mini Seattle. 30,000 season ticket deposits already. Uh, it's going to be a great, great new market in MLS. So there's a lot of good things happening with our new teams. An interesting article out this weekend in New York Times. Can I get your thoughts on uh, the gist of what you might think uh, and your reaction to that article? Yeah, you know, there was an article about uh, some of our supporter groups and this reporter's wrongful uh, perspective that uh, our groups weren't uh, representing the great diversity of our cities or our fan base. And it just, like unfortunately things can be with the media, poorly reported, factually incorrect, irresponsible, lack of any research whatsoever. Frankly, something like this should never see the light of the day. You know, particularly here in Seattle, an incredibly diverse fan base. Overall, MLS has 30% of our fan base being Hispanic. We're the only league of all the major leagues that has a exclusive primetime television contract in Spanish language, Spanish language radio. I mean, we are the league for New America. To have anybody think otherwise, it's just got their head in their sand. And when an article like this comes out, do you take a step back and think you have to re-educate or educate people? Or, or how frustrated, obviously you're frustrated, but <laughs> what is your step to educate those that don't know? I think our colleges need to train better journalists. <laughs> You know, it just is, it's one of those things you, you look at it and you scratch your head and you wonder a lot how anything, like this is not some blog, this was the New York Times. Uh, they know better. Uh, it just was a, a bad piece of reporting. What empowers me is to see the, the guy getting scorched uh, in social media. Just is not representative of good journalism.